Welcome back everyone. In this video, we are going to go over one of the more fundamental concepts when it comes to the component architecture in Svelte. And that is global versus scoped styling. There are two points to understand and we will go over each of them with an example. But first, let's set up our components. I'm going to create a new file in the components folder, child styles. Dot swelled. In the component markup, I'm going to add an h4 tag with the text child styles component text. Next, I'm going to include this component in app component. Import child styles from dot slash components slash child styles dot swelled. Include it in the markup child styles. Now above this component, I'm also going to add an h4 tag. The text is app component text. So we have an h4 tag in the app component and the child styles component. Our setup is done. Now let's begin with our first point, which is about scoped styles. In the app component styles section, let's add the color orange to the h4 tag. So h4 color orange. If you now save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see that the orange color is restricted only to app component. So the first point to make note of is that in Svelte, by default, a component's styles are scoped to that particular component, even if the component has children components. This allows the child components to define their own styles. So in child styles component, I can add a style section and specify a different color for the H4 tag. Color, olive. Take a look at the browser and we see two different styles. Now, if this is the case, how do we apply global styles in a Svelte application? After all, there would be styles that we want applied for every component in the application. Well, that brings us to the second point. To apply styles to a selector globally, you can use the global modifier. To demonstrate its usage, let's add an h3 tag in both the components. App component, global style, child styles component, global style. Now in the app component styles, we can use the colon global modifier, specifying the selector and its corresponding styles. Let's set color to blue. If we now take a look at the browser, you can see both the H3 tags are blue colored in app component as well as the child styles component. And this is because of the global modifier we have used. You can remove this style from app component and paste it inside the child component and the result is the same blue color is applied globally. The two points to keep in mind. By default, component styles are scoped to the component. However, styles can be applied globally using the global modifier. All right, I hope you now have a clear understanding of component styling in Svelte. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next video.